Uh, well, I started cooking at the age of around 13, 14 with my mum in Australia. Uh, and then at the age of 15, I went and did an apprenticeship for four years in Perth. Um, after that, I made my way to London in the, in the UK, uh, where I spent around 20 years. Um, and that's where my career really took off and I made my name, winning one Michelin star and two Michelin stars at Pierre de Terre. Then in 2011, I uh, decided to, to kind of give that all up and then relocate to Hong Kong, where I've been for the last eight years. Arcane is a very personal restaurant. Um, for me, it's not just about the food, it's about the atmosphere, it's about the decor, the personality of the restaurant from all the staff that work here. And I think it's, it's a true reflection of who I am now. One of the things that we want to do as a company is really help promote the next generation of restaurateurs and chefs to develop um, and give them a platform to go off and be chefs, restaurateurs in their own right. Um, and we've done that already. We opened Cornerstone a year ago. Uh, Neil, who runs the kitchen, and Didier, who runs the front of house, have both worked for me for you know, six or seven years, most of the time that I've been in Hong Kong. And we wanted to give them an opportunity to go off and be their own boss. Uh, working for Shane is very rewarding and challenging at the same time. He likes to push people to the limit to remind them what they're capable of. If you want your business to survive, you've got to stay at the top. You've got to keep pushing and evolving. If you sit still as a restaurant, then basically everybody, your competitors will overtake you. So you can't rest on your laurels. You've got to constantly update the menu, look at improving your service. There's that pressure from to survive. I mean, who knows what's going to happen post-COVID-19 uh, for this industry. I think um, there are going to be a lot of casualties. There's going to be a lot of restaurants. There already are a lot of businesses that have gone out. It's going to be a long-term recovery until we get back to any form of normality. You're talking maybe two or three years until, until things get back to the way they were. For us businesses, we've been on high alert for the last year. You know, We've been in survival mode since the protest started um, in June last year. Um, I thought was very important to do was to reassure the staff that we would, I would, and as a company, we would do all we could to save the jobs and to save the business. When it comes to success, I mean, the, the only success that really matters to me is that we have a full restaurant every day and B, that the staff are happy and watching these guys grow, that's better than any Michelin star or you know, chef of the year award for me.